doesn't love festive meals with friends? Yes. Catching up, talking, talking, talking. Do you want to attend us? Do restaurant? Yep, it's all about the conversation. Say what? Pardon me? St. Louis is an international town. Why, you don't have to go far to hear people speaking Spanish and Chinese and Vietnamese and Italian and Bosnian and... And me uh, and Esperanto. This is the Esperanto Asocio de Sancta Luiso, the Esperanto Association of St. Louis. No, no, they are not people from Esperanto. Esperanto is a language that was created to be the international language of the world, the solution to the problem that started at the Tower of Babel. And it's a world language that's designed to let everybody in the world communicate with each other because it's not just a language. It is interna ideal, the internal idea. We all are members of one human family. Esperanto goes back to the 19th century when a teenager in Warsaw named Ludwig Zamenhof decided the world needed an easy to learn common language. So, impulsive teenager that he was, he invented one. But Esperanto was never the huge success Zamenhof hoped for, meaning the Tower of Babel still stood. In the 1950s and 60s, there was an Esperanto revival. Before he was Captain Kirk, William Shatner even made a whole movie in Esperanto. Just a dolce. Me minutes just a van. Katuri chiak von Havas Kuritz Pavon. Today, there are an estimated 2 million speakers in the world. Sounds like a lot. But still, some words are not lost in translation. PowerPoint. Oh, just yes. Yeah. Yeah. As is Far East power, PowerPoint presentation. But in a lot of places, and for a long time, Esperanto has been a punchline. But that's definitely not true in this room on this night. It's interesting. It's a, it's a very, it's a lot of fun, and um, it's a language I could learn as an adult, um, you know, quite readily. People are, are, don't feel on a daily basis how important it is to learn to communicate with people in other countries who, who don't have English as their first language. It's here, it's going to stay, there's enough of a population that speaks it, and with the net now, oh, you just Google it, it's all over the net. And it's all over this room. Okay. Did I mention that this dinner isn't just an annual meeting for the local Esperanto group? Oh no, it's a birthday party for Ludwig Zamenhof, the guy who invented Esperanto. Had he lived, he'd have been 152 years old. Happy birthday, Ludwig. Love.